So we're gonna talk about our core. This muscle is called your transverse abdominis. You also have your rectus abdominis as well as your obliques. We're gonna focus on your transverse abdominis, which kind of is like a corset around your um, thoracic area. So first, I want you to put your hand on the middle of your belly, and then the other hand on the back side of your back. What we're gonna do is try to pull your belly button in towards your spine, and then we're gonna relax. And then we're gonna pull the belly button in again, and we're gonna relax. I kind of think about my belly button as an accordion. I'm pulling it in, I'm holding it, and then I relax, okay? What I don't want is a tilt of the pelvis to pull the belly button in. I know there's a lot of people out there who teach the pelvic tilt. I personally don't like it because I don't think it's a functional activity for you to set your core like this and then go about your day. We actually want a little bit of a neutral spine or lower doses here and then we're gonna learn how to activate that core, that transverse abdominis muscle, to stabilize through your core and your hips and pelvis. All right, and so what we don't want here is for you to take a deep breath in and then our rib cage expands, okay? So when we're doing this, really make sure that it's just through your belly button here, below your rib cage, okay? You can see my hand and my belly moving. And what we don't want is a pull in through our rib cage and holding through our breath. So this exercise, just go ahead and pull your belly button in, hold it for three seconds. Again, just like me right now, you should be able to talk and then release it. Sometimes I really push my belly button out only to know that I can pull it back in and squeeze and hold. You may be activating through your pelvic floor muscles as well, as well as your glutes. But this is what we call the draw in of the transverse abdominis muscle. We're gonna pull that belly button in for three seconds, hold it, and then we'll relax. We're gonna use that same muscle activation when we transition to the floor. So when we say draw in or activate through your core, it's this draw in muscle using your transverse abdominis. So we're gonna move our core progression to our back. So we're gonna lay on our back with our knees bent. We're gonna take all of those things that we talked about when we were in standing with our hand on our belly button, and we're gonna draw in through our belly and hold through our transverse abdominis to kind of create a nice strong corset around our thoracic area. So go ahead and lie on your back, keep your knees bent. Our, our feet are shoulder distance apart, our hips and our knees are gently open into a neutral position. We don't want them pointing in or touching, all right? So go ahead and lie on your back. And then what I always like to do is put my hands right on my belly button or just inside of my hip bones. And all we're gonna have you do is gently pull in that belly button, hold it for three seconds, and then you're gonna relax. Again, I'll put my hand right on my belly button here so you guys can see my belly button pull in and then relax. We're gonna pull it in and relax. Again, what I don't want you to do is a posterior pelvic tilt, okay? This is gonna have you brace through your entire core and your upper body as well, and you flatten your back, which again, is just not the way that we teach core activation. So keep that spine in neutral, pull your belly button down and hold it for three seconds, and then relax. Good, so what we're gonna do is pull in through the belly button, we're gonna bring one knee up to 90 degrees and then back down and then the other knee to 90 degrees and back down. What we don't want is the knee to be bent and the hip to come up too high. So what we want is a nice good bend at the 90 degrees and then our knee is at 90 degrees and then we drop it down. We're gonna maintain our knees in neutral. So we're gonna keep both of these knees pointing upwards. We don't want it to come up and across our body. So when we come up, we're going straight up to the ceiling, back down, up, straight up to the ceiling, and back down. Good, keep that core engaged, relax the rib cage, make sure that you are breathing. And we always say that this is nice and tight around your belt line or your belly button. Right and left is one. We're gonna do 10 on each side. 
All right, our next progression is up, up, down, down. So we're gonna keep our belly button engaged. We're gonna bring one leg up, and then we're gonna hold this up there, pull in through your belly, and then bring the other leg up. And then we're gonna come back down and back down. So pull in through the belly, up, up, down, down. If you're feeling it through your hip flexors, you really have to try to calm these down and pull in through your core, that psoas and iliopsoas muscle. As you can tell, my back is not completely flat. I have a little bit of a lordosis, a little bit of a neutral spine there. As I'm pulling my one leg up, my back is gonna stay stabilized as I bring the other leg up. If I bring one leg up and then I bring the other leg up and my belly's pouching out and my back is arched, I am not ready for this exercise. So go ahead, one leg comes up, the other leg comes up. There's gonna be a little bit of distance here between your feet and your knees. And then one leg goes down, the other leg goes down. Up, up, down, down. Again, if you're feeling through your hip flexors, go ahead and regress and stick with the TA march or the TA slide with a march. All up and down is one. We're gonna do 10 on each side. And through our belly button, keeping the ribcage relaxed, and then we're gonna slide our left knee out, kind of letting that leg float, and then we're gonna use our belly button and our hip flexors to pull that leg back in. Keep your belly button nice and tight, and we're gonna do 10 slides. Good, you should be able to talk and count out loud without having a problem. The slower you go, the better it is. All right, so we've got our resistance band here. We're gonna put it around our knees and then we're gonna do what we call TA abduction or ABD. So put it around our knees, good, and lie on your back, feet are shoulder distance apart, hips are shoulder distance apart, pressing a little bit out into our band to get a little bit of glute activation as well as co-contraction through the lumbopelvic region. So go ahead and lie on your back, knees are bent, and then we're gonna gently pull in through our belly, and then we're gonna separate into the band and hold for five seconds, and then we'll relax. We'll pull in through our belly button, open through our knees, hold for five seconds, and relax. Belly button, open, hold, and relax. I want you to think about keeping your big toes pressing down into the ground and then pressing open into the band using your glute muscles. And then relax. We'll do 10 of these, holding each rep for five seconds, and then we'll take a break. Okay, so our next exercise here is what we call bent knee fallout. So we're gonna pull in through our belly button, keep both of our knees nice and stable, and then we're gently gonna open one leg out to the side using our glutes and then come back to neutral and then the other one opens up and then back to neutral. Belly button stays nice and tight the whole time. Good. This exercise is pretty difficult and for anybody of any core progression should be able to do this. Right and left is one. Let's go ahead and do 10 on each side. Our last and final progression in our core series is TA adduction, ADD. So we're gonna take a ball, a beach towel, or a pillow, we're gonna put it between our legs, and we'll show you what to do. So go ahead and lie on your back, knees are bent, feet shoulder distance apart, knees are shoulder distance apart with a little bit of squeeze into the ball. We're gonna lie on our back, pull your belly button in, and then you're gonna squeeze the ball, hold for five seconds, and then relax. Pull the belly button in, squeeze the ball, 
hold for five seconds, relax. Belly button pulls in, squeeze, hold for five seconds, and relax. 